the human eye. In the human eye, indeed in the eyes of all animals with backbones, the light sensing cells, which are here shown in blue and green, face away from the incoming light. The blue cells are rod cells, which are so sensitive they can detect a single photon. The green cells are less sensitive, but they see color. The rod cells just see black and white. So these are very sensitive cells, uh, but evolutionary biologists look at this and say, this is obviously an example of bad design. Who in his right mind would put this, the light sensing cells on the side away from the light? Instead, they argue it's evidence for unguided evolution. So according to Richard Dawkins, any engineer would naturally assume that the photocells would point towards the light with their wires, that is the nerves, leading backwards toward the brain. He would laugh, as Dawkins does, at any suggestion that the photocells might point away from the light. According to Kenneth Miller, who we've run into several times here, no designer would suggest that the neural wiring connections should be placed on the side that faces the light rather than on the side away from it. Incredibly, this is how the human retina is constructed. And like Dawkins, uh, Miller argues that this is a result of evolution. It's an accident of evolution that leads to flaws rather than a design feature. But it has been known for decades, long before Dawkins and, and Miller wrote these opinions, that uh, the light sensing cells in the human retina have the highest metabolic rate of any tissue in the body because the demands on them are so high. So they need a generous supply of blood, back here in red, uh, that's uh, mediated by a layer of cells called the retinal pigmented epithelium, which is between the blood ve vessels and the light sensing cells. Now, if these are removed, the light sensing cells die and we would be blind. But if these are put in front of the retina, between the light sensing cells and the light, we'd also be blind. Because blood is opaque. Light, it doesn't admit light. The nerve cells, as it turns out, are relatively transparent. So by having the nerve cells here, the light gets through to the photosensing cells, which are then nourished, essentially, by this blood and these uh, retinal epithelial cells, retinal epithelial cells. So it turns out that Dawkins and Miller and, and actually many other evolutionary biologists look at the retina and without even checking the evidence, which is in uh, medical school textbooks, anatomy textbooks, has been for decades, they just assume that they know more and that they know how an eye should be designed and obviously this is evidence for evolution. That to me is bewildering to make statements like that without even checking the evidence.